The title of our work is Tap Tap Drum, a data set for dualized drum patterns. The initial objective of this project was to explore whether there is a low dimensional pattern that can capture the essence of a given multi-voice drum pattern. If so, we wanted to know what would be the ideal dimensionality of such pattern. After some extensive literature review conducted by my colleague Blazer, we found evidence that if there exists a reduced representation, a dual voice pattern should most likely be enough for capturing the rhythmic essence. As such, the refined objective was to explore whether a two voice pattern can meaningfully capture the rhythmic essence of a given multi-voice drum pattern, substantially better than the obvious single voice representation, but not losing too much compared to higher dimensions. If dualization is a meaningful reduction, then a computational model can be developed with multiple applications ranging from perceptual studies to retrieval and generative tasks. To confirm that this reduction can be meaningful, first, a data set of dualized patterns would be needed. The development of this data set is the main scope of the current work presented at ISMIR 2023 conference. For the data collection sessions, we asked four experienced drummers to take part in the experiments. For each of the data collection sessions, participants would repeatedly listen to a two-bar pattern and after one or two repetitions would start to play their dualizer interpretations on top of the looping pattern. The participants were allowed to continue their dualizations indefinitely until they felt confident in the accuracy of the dualizations. All the drum patterns in all of the sessions were synthesized using the same sound source, moreover, we did not provide any auditory or visual feedback from the dualized patterns while the participants were dualizing the patterns. To gather loops for the dualization experiments, we selected 345 two-bar patterns from the 503 recordings available in the group media data set. Each of the selected patterns were extracted from a single recording so that the diversity of the original data set was captured as much as possible. In the initial sessions, we selected 24 patterns to be presented randomly three times to each of the four drummers without notifying them about the repetitions. The objective here was to establish how consistently a single drummer dualizes repeated drum patterns and how much agreement existed between the dualizations uh, obtained from uh, different drummers. Moreover, during the initial sessions, Participant 1 notified us that he was aware of the random repetitions and that he tried different dualization strategies of different complexities. Inspired by this comment, we modified the remaining sessions so as to explore whether and how simple versus complex dualizations may agree or differ. The final collected data set consists of 72 unique drum loops, each dualized three times randomly and 273 drum loops dualized in two versions, simple and complex. You can explore the data set further in the website linked here. We've conducted a preliminary analysis of the data to investigate the validity of the hypothesis that professional drummers are able to dualize drum patterns with some level of con consistency. Uh, following an analysis, we have a number of speculations that require further validation. Firstly, it seems that experienced drummers have a consistent dualized interpretation of rhythms. However, these interpretations may vary among drummers. Secondly, complex dualizations are more active than simple dualizations. And lastly, unless restricted, the drummers default to more active dualizations. We hope you find this data set useful for your research, whether working on perception, information retrieval, or generation. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions about this data set.